Opinion on the new iFlight Hellion. I guess for 20 bucks you get two questions. Opinion on the iFlight Hellion. It's a 10 inch. Yeah, well, 7 inches is good. 10 inches is better, right? Um, oh, not even too expensive. <laughs> That's a fair price for something like this. Um, so uh, the 10 inch is going to be used for people who want longer range and more payload capacity than a 7 inch. Um, it's going to be, uh, well, what the hell are they got going on with their battery? What the frick is going on here? Is that like a, oh, that's like a th 3D render. That's not a real battery. That's way too square for a real battery. Um, this design certainly seems reminiscent of what Chris Rosser was doing with the AOS 7. This kind of truss design. He certainly didn't invent it. It is, it is a little, it's notable. But uh, Chris Rosser works with iFlight on the, on his, they make a bind fly version of his five inch. So maybe there's some cross pollination going on there. Uh, it looks like we don't have the two, do we have, we don't have the two piece arms though. And again, it's a, it's a render. So, um, iFlight going further down the direction of like, uh, further away from sort of traditional carbon fiber frame manufacturing here we've got a full plastic uh body plate this is uh clearly an aesthetic choice of where to put the antennas this antenna placement is it's not like it's bad but it's not like optimal for uh for rc uh be very curious about the weight that's true super deluxe It's a neat looking quad. Knowing iFlight, it probably flies pretty well and has innovative design. By the time you're up to a 10 inch, I don't think you're super concerned about durability. Uh, somewhere between seven and 10 inch, you cross the line where you no longer expect to be able to crash without spending a lot of money. That's my opinion. Um, What's the price difference from like seven to ten here? Is there like a big jump? As, I don't think it's as much as you would think. Chimera Seven Pro V two six S HD six sixty five to eight fifty four. No, that's like two hundred bucks. That's that's pretty substantial. So I mean, I don't know the exact specs for the ten inch. Like, in terms of how much more, like, what are you going to get? It's still carrying a GoPro. So basically what you want is to be able to carry a bigger battery for a longer time. That's why you're going to, what are you doing? What are you doing, web page? Do, what, I, what are you doing? Uh, can you behave yourself? No. This web page does not like being half screen. It's freaking the fuck out. Um... So what's the flight time that they list? What specs the Aero Shell uh, full access when maintenance work is being performed? Well, m maybe. Let's see here. Flight time, flight time, flight time. Anybody see a flight time listed? Blunty, do they list the flight time? Max speed doesn't really mean a lot. Max hover time. Here we go. Max cruise time, 23 minutes. That's not that great. What's the freaking... Why is that? Why is that? Well, what about the Chimera? Max hover time, 30 minutes. Okay, we'll go with the hover time. Max hover time, 30 minutes. Max hover time. So it has... <laughs> It has shorter hover time than the Chimera. It doesn't say which battery. That doesn't seem like... So it's heavier, bigger, more expensive, and flies for less time. Doesn't make any sense. It has to be that they've under spec the battery on this. That it can carry a much bigger battery. This must be like the freestyle loadout. 30 minutes with an 8,000 milliamp hour battery. That's more like it. 30 minutes on an 8,000. 
So we get like five more minutes of flight time for $200 and we go up to a 10 inch quad. That's, I wonder, like usually by the time you go to a 10 inch it's because you want to carry more weight. But if that weight is just going to be battery, I don't know. The 10 inch is presumably going to be a little bit less responsive than the seven inch, but a little bit more efficient. Mr. Eddie Nunez says, would flying a 10 inch for mountain surfing be better than a seven inch? Maybe. Generally, the bigger ones are steadier. Um, yeah. I feel like the 10 inch is going to be really at its best when you load it up with a battery and get much more flight time. You're going to get more power from those 10 inch props, more thrust, and you're going to be able to carry heavier weight. Maybe a higher cruising speed. What's the cruise speed? Well, max speed, 140 kilometers per hour for the 10 inch max speed. Uh, they list the same max speed of 140 kilometers per hour. I don't know if there's a reason why that would be. Is that 100 miles an hour? Uh, 140 kmh to mph. 86. No, there's no reason. So they list the same top speed. Who knows what the actual top speed is? Um, I feel like there's an argument for the Helion 10 that is not being made by its spec sheet. The 10 is going to be a little better at pushing through the wind, as Eirik Toft points out. It's going to have a little more thrust and a little more stability and a little more flight time. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think for some people, the 7 is going to be the right one. Anyway. Um, well, that's a good first question. <laughs>